Dennis, uh, healthcare is a critical factor in society today. Uh, science has uh, made remarkable progress. New ways of thinking have occurred, such as an evolutionary approach to, to medicine. I'd like to explore with you your overarching approach to biology and systems biology, uh, top-down causation, recurrent causation, um, in terms of the applications of that uh, to healthcare and medicine. Could not be anything more important, more urgent, and more in need of very careful thinking by our politicians, our economists, our health managers, and so on. This is a crisis. We are entering a period in which many nations are already finding it very difficult to cope with the load of illness in old age. The problems of later stage illnesses that are not susceptible to genetic intervention. We've tried and we've failed. Which of the major diseases, cancer, diabetes, um, dementia particularly, cardiovascular disease, which of those has automatically yielded to the idea that somehow by finding this gene to manipulate, <laughs> that protein to manipulate, doesn't work because they're multifactorial. Sure. You don't end up in one of these disease states, and certainly not in dementia, because of a single factor. So we're never going to find a magic bullet that will solve those problems for us. They are crying out for a systems approach because they are systems diseases. They're diseases of the whole organism with many of the systems involved, not just, I mean, I'm using system here in two senses, I know, <clears throat> but you'll see my point. It is that you have, therefore, to see how at a high level we can start to do something that will really help. We need to find the more gentle ways of prevention, which is always better than cure. When you end up in the diseases of old age, it's almost too late don't want to be too pessimistic about this. There are things, palliative things, that can be done. But by and large, it's then downhill. The best thing to do, therefore, I think, is to look for the relatively cheap advice mm -hmm. to people. Diet, exercise, why was I tangoing mm -hmm. for coming mm -hmm. to do the mm -hmm. filming today? It's my form of exercise. It exercises the mind, incidentally, the brain, in addition to mm. the body. Mine is table tennis. That, uh, and yours is table tennis. Well, that, that's also... Um, yes, absolutely. It, it, it can be the individual's choice. Mm. That's, that's number one, and we would do an enormous amount of help if we did that. But also, we could introduce therapists into our health systems who are extremely good at giving people joy and feeling. Mm. Just to ask anybody who's undergone really good massage therapy. Mm -hmm. I think I know how it works, but that's another story. Mm -hmm. I think it's the massaging of the body producing masses of tiny particles that come from the cells and create the feeling of well-being. Mm. But, you know, that's cheap. <laughs> you don't need expensive drugs to do that. Um, there are other techniques too. There are many kinds of medications that can come from our knowledge of plants too. Many of our pharmaceutical products came from plants in the first place sure. anyway. I think we could go back to that. You see, plants over many years have naturally evolved for organisms to like them. <laughs> what else can they, they eat? Have, they have to be spread. <laughs> so, they have to be spread, exactly, and they've worked out a brilliant way of doing it. <laughs> By being Their delicious. leaves are tasty. <laughs> Their seeds are delicious. Their fruits are even more delicious. <laughs> they have got the wisdom of millions of years of evolution. <laughs> we could use all of that, and our dietitians and our pharmacologists and similar people taking a more systems view of what is needed um, could do it. Mm. And let me say also this, it's urgent to do so because we're facing a crisis. The health care costs in the future are going to outstrip anything we've imagined or experienced so far as aging populations 
don't have the young people in the sufficient quantities to look after them. It, 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 it's obvious, isn't it? If you, if you create a society that's largely aged, you will have largely intractable diseases. Yeah. That is our problem. Mm. And we have it as a matter of urgency to tackle that. And a systems approach will be the, systems the, approach is the way forward. Not the right approach, but it's, it's extremely cost uh, efficient. You, I, I've spoken to people. I'm obviously I'm now a retired <laughs> medical scientist, but I've spoken to those you know in post trying to do it to look at the system as a whole, particularly in the nervous system, where it's almost impossible to do it from a cellular perspective. Mm. Um, who are aware of the need to do this and are desperately trying to do it. And I think we need to encourage those. Our grant systems ought to encourage that kind of approach.